Ow! She got... Just for the record, I said ow because she hit me in an illegal spot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to go there? Illegal. Oh, come this way? Oh, sorry, sorry. He said me, come this way. Hey, what's up, everybody? Nigel Chambers here from Big Gold Belt Media at the Royal Rumble 2024, a face you've definitely seen on the channel. One of my favorite people, Shayna Baszler. How's it going today? It's going pretty good, you know? Cool, cool. You live in Florida. We'll just keep it at that. You drive, What you drive up in? Because, you know, you always got something nice. What you what you, what Listen, you whip out I, this weekend? I, I got myself a new uh, 2019 Ford Mustang. Okay. Uh, recently, so mm -hmm. I, ha I needed some bonding time yeah. with a new whip. Yeah, that wheel time. So that's what Legs a little. You know, anybody that has a Mustang knows it isn't like a passenger friendly car. Uh -huh. I mean, the, the one passenger seat, yeah, but yeah, the back yeah. seat ain't really made At for, all. for riding. So just cruise up here by myself, get some bonding time with the new whip. Yeah, I love it. Love it. Always love talking about cars with you. Yeah. Um, gotta get your uh, perspective. One, we got a big UFC event coming up, UFC 300. You know the big news around that with Kayla Harrison. What has been your assessment of the sign-in and, 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 and ultimately that transition into the Octagon? What's your, what's your thoughts? I mean, I think Kayla Harrison, you know, if anyone's shown that judo is a successful martial art, in the UFC, it's Ronda, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, the kind of the thought process. Hey, what's your thoughts on the UFC? <laughs> I think Shane is good. Not wrong there. Shane is good. <laughs> Just to show my level of knowledge, it's a little bit higher. I am good though. I am. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think um, you know the general thought about judo is that you it like exposes you too much to submission. But like yeah. Ronda showed, that's not true. Yeah. Um, so, you know, as long as Kayla has made her adjustments and um, obviously she's going to go up, you know, that division has a lot of good strikers, mm -hmm. Holly Holm being one. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the thing about Holly Holm that I think people underestimate is her grappling defense as far as like takedown defense is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, interesting to see how how she steps into the, how Kayla steps into this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to it. I saw uh, Cyborg also pitching for Amanda Nunez rematch to be thrown on that. You, you think she really want that smoke? <laughs> I don't know, man. If Nunez is like a, what does she need to prove, you know? Exactly. And that's kind of always been, I'm not trying to start any smoke, but that's kind of always been the thing with Cyborg is mm. like, like even when she was trying to call out Ronda, Ronda was like, "I'm the champ. Why yeah. am I gonna come to you? Yeah. I'm not gonna move up a weight. You have to come to the champion. Yeah. You make weight for me." Mm -hmm. And that was always their contention. Um, so you know. Yeah, yeah. Talk a little bit about some video games now. We obviously just had the video game awards, which I don't know, man. You, you think? Do you think Baldur's Gate Three is as is, is good as everybody make it to be? Okay, I think it was recency bias. The game is great. Don't yeah, get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. But I think it was a lot of recency bias. I also think Starfield was a bit underrepresented. Yep. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think definitely Baldur's Gate recency bias. They came out at the right time. I think Rogue Trader came out a little too late because that is my favorite Warhammer game there's ever been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, granted, they had to patch up the later, the later um, <laughs> chapters uh -huh. or whatever. But you know, now that they've had it out for a bit, so yeah. I don't know. It's a shame that it was like so late in the year, so they missed the awards. But. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Baldur's Gate is good. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah. come for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I, some I, I, big Spider Man mind. got no, no, no doubt. Big Spider Man guy oh, obviously yeah. got snubbed a lot. I was definitely, I thought Alan Wake was in there where it needed to be. Alan but, Wake was great. Yeah. I'm actually in my second playthrough of Alan. Wake. Okay. It definitely it pick that up if you haven't played that. Um, but yeah, Royal Rumble weekend, and then it's not a rumble if you're not here. Uh, I, I, and it's crazy to think because you know there's so many big, attractive, shiny names out there. But you're like you're always going to be a problem anywhere you put you in, whatever number you come out. Uh, complete game changer. Um, any strategy, and whether you want to talk about it or not, but any strategy or, or any different approach, considering that you kind of slide in as an underdog. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I think it's um, people forget. So like, it's easy to say that my style is submissions and limb destruction, <laughs> and that's not the point of the Royal Rumble. Right, right, right. However, try to toss someone out or stop yourself from being tossed out with a limb 
not usable, right? <laughs> it makes things a lot more difficult. So I think that's something people are sleeping on. Yeah. Um, that being said, I think I'm experienced in the Royal Rumble now, so I know kind of what to expect, which is a lot of the unexpected. Yes. Um, so you train for the things you can control. Yeah. Namely, strength endurance. You know, mm -hmm. if I draw number one mm -hmm. and I'm in there for an hour, like mm -hmm. Rhea was last year, and then freaking Naya comes in, mm -hmm. number 30, all fresh, mm -hmm. I need to make sure I still got gas to throw her out. That's right. So it's those type of variables that I can control. Yeah. I can make sure I'm in shape yeah. for a worst case scenario. Yeah. Um, and then just roll with the punches when the surprises happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and a question, just to take a look at your entire career of just combat sports, uh, coming to this moment, what's, what's, what's been that thing, that battery in your pack that just keeps you going? Man, I think I just like the puzzle of solving the human Rubik's Cube, <laughs> right? Like uh, Eric Paulson used to say, the body's a submission waiting to happen. Yeah. And so whether it's MMA or pro wrestling, the fun part for me is finding how to get to that submission. And everybody's different. Everybody's got a different style. That's That, that to me, is what keeps it fresh. Yeah, yeah. All right, Shane, I'll definitely let you go because I clearly could talk so much more about cars, games, wrestling, yeah. combat sports, Stand whatever game. it is. Yeah, and also, too, because, you know, anytime you pull up, you always got a fresh fit. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, 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 so watch shop real quick for it. I got yeah. the, the, uh, my Twitch stream actually got me this uh, jersey. Okay. The Queen's Army. Um, they got that for me for Christmas, got my name, you know. So I'm representing them. I got a corn hat for Warhammer. Yeah. Yeah, and I got some uh, custom... Mosh sneakers, Mosh gang. I think they look clean and they're super comfy, not just putting them over, but yeah, yeah. Mosh promenades. That's there, what I got. There you go. Oh, also, Naya said you got like the the bomb uh, Terramana collection. So I'm going to end the interview there because I'm going to have to get some details so I can get on that mailing list of that Terramana. <laughs> yeah. Nonetheless, thank you so much, Shader, for your time today. Thank you. Absolutely.